Good morning. It's been a while. <laughs> Praise God. I am happy to be here this morning because for the last two weeks, which I haven't been here, I have been a full-time grandmother to one of my nine grandchildren who is 14 months old and has more energy than I could ever dream of. His mommy had her first baby girl to join three brothers. I have, had all the res I have all the respect in the world for moms of small children, as it is definitely more than any secular work that I have ever done outside of my home. And it's been a while since I was a mama. So that brings me to why I am here this morning. For those of you who do not know me, my current job was actually birthed right here at Palm Vista. I want to thank Pastor Alan Corey for that opportunity. I am co-founder along with Reverend John Ensor and Martha Avila for the heartbeat of Miami Pregnancy Help Clinics. We serve this very needy community with five locations in Miami-Dade County. Four of them are fully equipped medical clinics and one is a training center and an admin office. We started our work back in 2007 when we opened the Hialeah Clinic. Many of you know that back in the 80s and early 90s, it was actually an abortion business, one that I operated alongside of my mom. This was long before I had submitted my life to Christ and redeemed and was redeemed from, the work, from that work. We o later opened four other locations, one in North Miami, one in Kendall, one in Flagler, and the training center, which is near the Doral. We have had the blessing of transforming a second location, which is that Flagler Clinic, from also being an abortion business, which operated for 20 years right in the heart of Miami. In less than 11 years, family, we have had over 30,000 babies rescued from abortion. And many moms and families have received Christ as their savior. Now, last year, I was invited to be a part of an even bigger calling with Reverend John Enser. He asked me if I would travel with him and the Passion Life team to share my testimony and train other women in abortion oppressed countries such as China, Romania, Czech Republic, Vietnam, and yes, Cuba. Many other Caribbean and South American countries as well. Passion Life brings the truth of the gospel along with the bioethics to pastors and church leaders to teach them so that they can teach their churches, family, and friends of what God says about the shedding of innocent blood and teach them so that they can also bring pro-life clinics and bring healing to those women who have chosen abortion in the past. Heartbeat of Miami as well as Passion Life are changing a culture of death into a culture of life, one woman at a time, here in Miami-Dade County and in countries all over the world, to include our United States. This February, Passion Life was invited to attend the Biblical Conference of Evangelical Ministries, which was held in Havana. We were hoping to see Pastor Al, but unfortunately he wasn't able to be there, but we were there. I am very happy to make an impact where the shedding of life is taken lightly here in Miami and in all parts of the world where the Lord is calling us to lead. On behalf of John Ensor, Martha Avila, and myself, I ask you to pray for Heartbeat of Miami and Passion Life. I feel a desire, if you feel a desire to be a, become part of this ministry, please let me know. Right now we are seeking someone who might uh, be trained in ultrasound, to come and be a part of our team at Heartbeat. And for those who would love to come alongside of me and travel, there are opportunities. Uh, Passion Life has opportunities for people to travel abroad. So today I wanna thank you for your love and your support. This church has sown so much life and just we just heard of another life that we reaped just yesterday. I want to share with you all a little clip that we had back uh, in February. And also, please keep us in prayer because tomorrow morning, me and John and Mark are headed out to Santiago de Cuba to visit three different churches, 
one of them has already birthed what they call Soplo de Vida, Breath of Life Pregnancy Center. And nine babies have already been born to the ministry. So thank you all and uh, enjoy Cuba. Las cadenas de la muerte me quitó para mí. 